Good morning, everyone. I am Toby, the Kilted Adventurer. I'm back on Lookout Mountain, so let's go and have some fun. In this historic spring hike, we return to Lookout Mountain. We start at Eagle's Nest, make our way up the mountain, passing Camp Del Murray and Craven's House, climb the awesome Bluff Trail, and finally, enjoy the view that goes for days at Sunset Rock. This is a old rock quarry called Eagle's Nest. You can see there's access below. You got some stone walls. Here's our little eagle. Won't really be able to see him from the front. But let's take a little closer look. Good morning, uh, back on Lookout Mountain. It is about 40 degrees, uh, so we got one last blast of winter-like weather before it turns warm, uh, hopefully for good. Up here to find some wildflowers. This is supposedly one of the top five wildflower trails in the Chattanooga area. You've seen some of this trail. Uh, my goal is to go to Sunset Rock, which we tried to go to one time before. Uh, but there was no view that day. So hopefully, even though today is cloudy, we will get a spectacular view. If you enjoy these videos, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button so that others can share in our adventures also. Thank you. Guild Hardy is a mixed use trail, very popular for hikers, bicycles, and trail runners. At about one and a quarter miles, you come to your first decision point. Uh, Guild Hardy Trail ends, Upper Truck begins. If you went south, a lot of people on bikes do, uh, you'll end up in Georgia. We are, however, going to head this direction, which will allow us to continue our climb of Lookout Mountain. I'm at mile one and a half. This is the remnants of Camp Del Murray, part of the CCC uh, Civilian Corps uh, from the New Deal. I have not been able to take you here before because of poison ivy and overgrowth, but all that should be dormant, so let's go take a look. At 1.7 miles, you have a decision again. You can continue on this more gradual climb up to Craven's house. I usually take a rifle pits trail. Get you there a little faster, but it is a heck of a climb. I believe it was named for the Confederate entrenchments as they were defending Lookout Mountain in the Civil War.
some more evidence of the Civil War history of this part of the trail. I don't know if these walls were built back in the 1860s or the 1920s. I'm in a mile two and a half. We are going to take a quick break and look at uh, Craven's house. I made another video about this. I'll put the link down in the description if you want to know more about the history. We are going to enjoy this view together. All right, we're going to jump on Craven's Trail. The sign says it takes about two hours round trip to get to Sunset and back. That's probably correct. This is a very popular trail. Uh, even as early as it is, I fully expect to see a number of people up here. Just met a couple of rock climbers on the trail. I think they're heading to the Bluff Trail, which is up ahead. A lot of folks like to rock climb up here also. And again, very popular area. You're gonna have a lot of people, so it's pretty safe. Uh, you have cell service the entire time, so that's something else that makes it very attractive for solo hikers. I'm at 3.4 miles. One last decision point, this is the Bluff Trail. You can go back this way, take you up to Point Park in the tip of Lookout Mountain. We're going to take it this way for about two-thirds of a mile, which should allow us to get to Sunset Rock. see why they call this bluff trail Up to this point, the trail's been pretty easy. I would classify it as moderate going forward. They also have some safety concerns. They have put some guard rails and wire up. You can see how narrow this trail gets and how far down it goes. It's been crazy to me that people trail run on moderate to difficult trails. You've got to give them mad props. Good morning. Howdy.
for making our final approach, there is an opportunity to go right or left. So let's do this for just a second. You can see way off in the distance, the sun is starting to come out. We're on the west side of the mountain, so we will not enjoy any of that sun because this is a morning hike. It's windy! I'm at about four miles. This is your opportunity, which I highly recommend, to go to Sunset Rock. this climb. As we make our final approach to Sunset Rock, it is extraordinarily windy up here. The views are going to be spectacular. Thank you for joining me today on this hiking adventure. Remember to give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, seek adventure.